this week's Friday message. One of the things that we value in the Bowling Green City Schools is our community partners. And today we're standing in Grounds for Thought. Grounds for Thought's a location that we use twice a month for our community coffee chats. And we really appreciate the support that Kelly and Laura Wicks give the schools. And they do an outstanding job for our community and supporting our community in, in its entirety. And it's not just the coffee that I like Grounds for Thought but I love the thousands and thousands of books that are available to our students and to our community. Because as you know, reading is fundamental and it is the key to all of our futures uh, as students and as adults. We continue to learn from books. And we have stressed One Book BG here in the last two weeks and it has just been a wonderful program. And so let's go out and, and see some of the books that are found here in Grounds for Thought. So if you're a younger reader, Grounds for Thought has books for you. Look at the selection. And look what we've got here. Hmm, the Chocolate Touch. Anybody familiar with that book? I think so. Sometimes a good mystery book is in order. Sherlock Holmes might be the trick. If you're a young reader, there's a lot of children books. But if you're not quite to the children books yet, you've got other options that grounds for thought. I think I'm going to open Pumpkin Pumpkins. I wonder what that could be about. Maybe if you're looking for critical thinking skills, chess might be your game. I'll take all challengers. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. I love books, but let's remember, Grounds for Thought is known for its coffee. Sometimes I like to just get a book and read outside. And with the great weather we've been having, it's a perfect time. But you know, parents and students, One Book BG, if it's done nothing else, is it's allowed families to read together and stress the importance of reading together as a family but it shouldn't be just during the weeks of One Book BG. This should be something of our everyday life. Students, if you would, ask your parents. Sit down and read with me at night. Or talk about a book that you're reading. Those are great habits to get into. Parents, take some time. Sit down with your students and continue to stress the value of reading. Thanks. You know, every, every week we try to uh, illustrate all the successes our kids are having and these last two weeks we've just been off the chart with successes too many to name in one Friday message so I draw your attention to Twitter our Twitter feed and Facebook where we've tried to really make sure that we recognize all the successes our kids have had both athletically but also within the arts um, so please take some time to look look those up because we really appreciate and really are proud of all the efforts our kids make to represent our school district. And you know, it is flu and cold season. And I sent an email out to parents, to students, you know, make sure you're washing your hands, drinking lots of liquids, you know, doing all the, the hygiene things. And remember, when you're about to sneeze, you can be really cool by doing it like this. Hoo-choo! A little dab will do ya. And as always, Bobcat proud.